the integral of x to the power dx minus 1. What an interesting integral to solve. Now, before I solve this integral or try to solve it per se, I must say that some mathematicians would argue that this integral does not make mathematical sense. Uh, why do they argue that way? Well, what is integration? The basic idea of integration is this. If I have a curve, so let's begin this way. If I have a curve, let's say, this is my curve, f of x. If I want to find the area under this curve, I must be able to slice this curve into very tiny segments of some defined width, for example, uh, delta x. All right. So I must be able to slice this curve or the, the area under this curve into very small, small strips of thickness dx or delta x per se. And in order for me to find the area under this curve, I must be able to sum up, of course, this is f of x1, f of x2, and so on. So I must be able to, to sum up all the delta xi's times the f, or sorry, this is just delta x times the f xi's from the first i up to the nth i, you know, the nth value of x, I must be able to sum up all these small segments in order for me to find the area under the curve. And this is the basic idea of integration, you know, if we borrow ideas from Riemann sums and so on. That's where we get integration from. So if you, let's just go back to our previous problem, the integral of x to power dx minus 1, some mathematicians would say this does not make mathematical sense because, I mean, we must be multiplying the dx on the function in order for us to get the, the area, all right? Because the area is simply length times width, the area of that small strip. So in this video, I'm not going to talk so much about the argument of whether this integral makes sense or not, but we'll try to solve it anyway. And uh, we'll try to solve it using a simpler technique, uh, I'll show you. So I'm going to write this function first of all, x to power dx minus 1. Uh, I'm going to write this as the integral of x to power dx minus 1 divided by dx times dx. Now, of course, this does not change the question because this dx can as well cancel out and we go back to the original question that we had. But by writing it this way, it gives me a better insight on what I'm actually dealing with. You see, uh, if I just say x to power dx minus 1 divided by dx, if I just take only this, it so turns out that dx represents delta x, a very small element of x, like we've seen in the demonstration. So if I could just write this, this is the same as x to power delta x, all right, minus 1 divided by delta x. And if I take the limit as delta x tends to 0, why do I take the limit as delta x tends to 0? Well, we try to make this segments, the delta x's, we try to make them as very thin as possible, approaching zero. So that's why I take the limit as this tends to x. And this is a very special, well-known limit. This limit of x to power delta x minus 1 over delta x, as delta x tends to zero, this is the natural log of x, okay, ln of x. So instead of writing this, I'm going to write the natural log of x, so I'm going to rewrite this integral now as the integral of natural log of x times this dx. And there we go, the integral of natural log of x dx, this is something we know very well, this is x natural log of x uh, minus x. This is indefinite, so I'll add a constant of integration. Let's say k. Okay. If you don't know how to integrate this, I'm using a technique of integration by parts. I'll leave a link in the description where I actually do this specific example, the integral of natural log of x. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. Comment below to let me know what you think about this integral, whether it makes sense to you or not. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I upload weekly you know, interesting problems in math and physics. Also, I have full courses in the channel. You may want to check out that. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.